And now we shift our focus to what much of America is thinking and talking about this weekend. We'll continue our conversation with our commentators. What is the legacy of 9-11 10 years later? Straight talk from the right and from the left. Like wills made by different lawyers, Americans have two legacies coming out of 9-11. The first is the extraordinary courage and devotion shown by everyday Americans on that day and after. The passengers on Flight 93. The firemen who rushed into buildings that then collapsed on top of them. The workers who spent weeks combing through the wreckage of Ground Zero, refusing to leave, in many cases destroying their health. The soldiers who have gone off, in many cases repeatedly, to Iraq and Afghanistan, sacrificing years and lives for the rest of us. That legacy nourishes us and will never be depleted. But then there's a broader legacy of a society now poisonously divided. We've had leadership ready to load all the sacrifice on the shoulders of a few and tell the rest of us to just go about our lives. We've had policies that have eroded our country's standing in the world and weakened our economy. 10 years after 9-11, Americans are more likely to despise each other and our leaders. We would rather think about the first legacy, and it deserves our devotion. But the only way to truly honor the first legacy is to try to fix the second one. Now, straight talk from the right. What's the legacy of the 9-11 terrorist attacks on America? The murders of nearly 3,000 people, most of them Americans, but some from virtually every corner of the earth, awakened America to the kind of terrorism that had only come once before recently in the bombing of the World Trade Center eight years earlier. The most important legacy is knowing we could be hit on our own soil and that we had to fight back by hunting down those responsible and making it clear that those who harbored terrorists would face the same kind of response. It also made clear that while much of the Muslim world presents no threat to America, too many Muslims and too many countries would sit by while terrorists planned their attacks. Even in Portland, we saw the conviction of the Portland Six, followers of Islam who threw away any allegiance they had to this country and went to war against it. My biggest concern is that 10 years later, the horror of that day in September is being forgotten and that Americans will grow complacent again before the next attack and that America's current president thinks he can talk countries like Iran out of seeking nuclear weapons for the next strike against the last best hope on earth and make 9-11 look like nothing by comparison.